you probably have heard that DLSS 3.0 only works on RTX 40 series and above. But recently, DLSS 3.5 was announced and it works on all RTX cards. How does that work? Also, what is DLSR, DLRR, and frame generation? In this video, I'm going to answer all of these questions, so keep watching. First, DLSS stands for Deep Learning Super Sampling and is a neural graphics technology that multiplies performance using AI to display higher resolution through image reconstruction, create entirely new frames, and improve the image quality of intensive ray-traced content. But how does it work? Well, these are actually different technologies inside DLSS. The first technology is DLSR. DLSR stands for Deep Learning Super Resolution. This is responsible for taking a low-resolution image and making it bigger and sharper. Then, we have Frame Generation, which basically inserts entirely new frames between the frames that your game naturally produces and was introduced in DLSS 3.0. This technology makes the animation of your game feel smoother and more satisfying. Lastly, the newer technology is DLRR, Deep Learning Ray Reconstruction, which improves graphics that use ray tracing, making it more realistic looking and improving reflections in the scenery. Now let's talk about the confusion about DLSS 3.0 only working on RTX 40 series and above. DLSS 2.0 contains DLSR, DLSS 3.0 contains DLSR and frame generation. DLSS 3.5 contains DLSR, frame generation, and ray reconstruction. Deep Learning Super Resolution and Ray Reconstruction works on all RTX graphics cards, but frame generation only works on RTX 40 series and above, and that's where the confusion is. So if you have any RTX card, you can run any version of DLSS without a problem, except for the frame generation functionality, which you'll need in 4000 series card or above. If you found this video to be informative, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.